hello how to solve for s and y from this given nice algebra problem 6 raised to power s plus 6 raised to power y is equal to 42 s plus y is equal to 3 solution Six raised to power s plus six raised to power y is equal to forty-two. Let's call this equation one. X plus y is equal to three. Let's call this equation two. Then from equation one. Let's multiply both sides of the equation by 6 raised to power x. That is, 6 raised to power s plus 6 raised to power y multiplied by 6 raised to power s is equal to 42 multiplied by 6 raised to power x. Then this is 6 raised to power s multiplied by 6 raised to power s plus 6 raised to power s multiplied by 6 raised to power y is equal to 42 multiplied by 6 raised to power x. Then this is 6 raised to power s times 6 raised to power s. 6 raised to power s square plus 6 raised to power s plus y is equal to 42 multiplied by 6 raised to the power x. Now from the equation 2, we know that s plus y is equal to 3, and this is s plus y. Let's substitute. We have 6 raised to the power s squared plus 6 raised to the power 3 is equal to 42 multiplied by 6 raised to the power x. Then we have 6 raised to power s square plus 6 raised to power 3 is 6 times 6 times 6. This is 36 times 6. This is equal to 216. Then this is 216 is equal to 42 multiplied by 6 raised to power x. From here, let 6 raised to power s is equal to y. Then this is y square plus 216 is equal to 42 y. Then this is y square minus 42 y plus 216 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation which can be solved using factorization method or quadratic general formula. But let's use factorization method. This is the product P is equal to minus 36 multiplied by minus 6. This is equal to 216. Then sum is equal to minus 36 minus 6 this is equal to minus 42 let's substitute y square minus 36 y minus 6 y plus 216 is equal to 0 then y is common we have y bracket y minus 36 minus 6 bracket y minus 36 is equal to 0. y minus 36 is common. We have y minus 36 bracket y minus 6 is equal to 0. There are two cases here. The first case is y minus 36 is equal to 0 therefore y is equal to 36 and the second case here is y minus 6 is equal to 0 therefore y is equal to 6
but c raised to power s is equal to y then when y is equal to 36 we have c raised to power s is equal to 36 then c raised to power s is equal to 36 is c square we have the same base c therefore s is equal to 2 this is the value of x then also from here c raised to power s is equal to y then when y when y is equal to 6 c raised to power s is equal to 6 then c raised to power s is equal to c raised to power 1 we have the same basis s is equal to 1 let's call this s1 and this s2 we've got the value of s but we don't know the value of y from equation equation 2 we know that s plus y is equal to 3 now let's solve for y when s is 2 when s is equal to 2 then 2 plus y is equal to 3 y is equal to 3 minus 2 y is equal to 1 also from here when s2 is equal to 1 s plus y is equal to 3 then 1 plus y is equal to 3 y is equal to 3 minus 1 y is equal to 2 this is y2 therefore our final answers are s1 comma y1 is equal to 2 comma 1 and s2 comma y2 is equal to 1 comma 2 we can check to confirm if our answer is right or wrong. Let's check. To check, we have the given equation. We can check with either equation 1 or equation 2. Let's use equation 1. Equation 1 is c raised to power s plus c raised to power y is equal to 42. Now, when s1 is equal to 2 and y1 is equal to 1, let's see. We have when s comma y is equal to 2 comma 1 then this is c square plus c raised to power 1 must be equal to 42 c square this is 36 plus 6 must be equal to 42 now 36 plus 6 this is 42 is equal to 42 which is true for the given equation you can also check when s2 is equal to 1 and y2 is equal to 2. So we are going to get the same answer. Thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.